after and everyone. Um, I'm just filming my TMI, you have been tagged. I was tagged by Caroline Whittington last night. Um, these are just a few wee hair clips that I've made, just for something to look at, rather than a boring blue, eh, boring blue, boring brown desk. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll get going. One, what are you wearing? A blue night shirt and a fleece jacket, because I am frozen cold today. To ever been in love, yes. Um, I have been with my partner Ian since Christmas morning 1996. Ever had a terrible breakup? No. Number four, how tall are you? Five foot two. Number five, how much do you weigh? Far, far, far too much. Haven't been weighed for years, but I would reckon probably 22 stone or thereabouts. Number six, any tattoos? No, too much you covered. Number seven, any piercings? Yes, my ears are pierced once. Got them done when I was four years old in Blackpool. Um, number eight, one true pairing. Homemade soup and crusty bread with butter. Number nine, favourite show, Charmed. Number ten, favourite bands. Loads and loads of them. Um, I love um, back in the day when I first started getting into music, it was Culture Club, um, Duran Duran, uh, Kids Goo Goo, stuff like that. I was not really into poppy pop. Back then it was the rougher bands. I didn't really like Wham or Gross or Aha or anything. They were too cool. Um, something you missed, my gran. My gran passed away when I was eight. She was a widow when I was born. Um, she remarried when I was six. But I stayed with her every weekend, every Friday, Saturday night. I stayed with her when I was really young. In fact, when I was first up, I was two year old old with my gran. Um, my gran, my parents, and my uncle. Um, so I was really, really bonded to my gran. And once we moved out, I still spent every weekend with her. So when she remarried, I was in bed with her and her husband was on the couch. Because in the pecking order, I came before him. I was there before him in her eyes. Um, and I went on holiday with her. Yeah. We were like bookends, just constantly. So yeah, I miss her. Loads and loads. Um, favourite song? Tracy Chapman, The Promise. Words are just beautiful and if I'm having a woody and miss my grand loads, that song reminds me of her. Um, it's just beautiful and it's perfect. Um, how old are you? I am 37. Zodiac sign, Capricorn, typical Capricorn. Quality you look for my partner, um, kind eyes. Um, sincere, loyal, truthful. Yeah, I think that's about it. Favourite quote, if you can't say something nice, say nothing at all. Um, there's just too many people out there who open their mouths and just spill verbal diarrhoea and don't think how much their words will actually hurt. For me, if someone upsets me, I tend to say absolutely nothing. Silence seems to speak a lot louder sometimes. Um, favourite actor, Robert De Niro. He's such a varied actor and he's, he's just fab. Um, favourite colour, purples. Um, 
but it just depends on the project. Um, but they are my favourite poems. Uh, loud music or soft? Mostly soft. Um, I really like acoustic and um, instrumental ballads. I like things that are chilled just now because I'm so anxious all the time. I need something to keep me look quite chilled. So yeah, I'm mostly soft. Where to go when you're sad? Here, in my room. Door closed tight, blinds closed, and just headphones on, and just listen to my music, or watch my YouTube videos, or dabble about in my jewellery. Just in here, on my own, and the kids kind of know when the door shut tight, don't come in and annoy me, because it's just not a good time. Um, how long does it take you to shower? I don't shower a bath. Normally when the kids are in bed. Um, because the shower just gets me more anxious. Because it's kind of in and out. I prefer to go in the bath and just relax and chill before I go to my bed. It helps me unwind slightly. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, probably five minutes because I go for my bath at night and um, I don't go anywhere so it's just a case of pulling on if I was closest to me. Ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Um, mainly because, in fact it probably wasn't even that long ago, it was, I'm saying it wasn't that long ago, it was a long time ago but um, trying to separate a fight and one of the people decided that I shouldn't have been involved so she took a swipe at me and I defended myself but I don't like fighting at all I hate seeing fights turn on mm. kind eyes that's the first thing attracts me if their eyes are smiling then you know it's a genuine smile turn off um, rudeness and scruffy Blah. reason I joined YouTube initially believe it or not it was as a wind up we had filmed on my camera, my eldest son, um, with makeup on, and we did a carry on. And I said to him, "I'm going to put that on YouTube." And he went, "No, you know." So, don't ever dare me to do something because I do do it. <laughs> so yeah, it appeared on YouTube, yeah, much to his disgust. But um, after that, what was I looking for? Oh, I had um, been making cards and I was, I had bought Cosmic Shimmer sprays, but I didn't really know how to use them to their full potential, so I had put in Cosmic Shimmer into YouTube and Fiona Jennings 644 appeared and the rest is history and she cost my bloody fortune since then because my Card making has slightly been pushed to the side and I'm doing jewellery work because she showed us how to do charms and I thought mm, maybe charms would go on earrings so I've done that and then mm, I wonder if I could put that on a bracelet and so I bought all my jewellery stuff and then mixed media and I thought mm, I wonder if I could do that so I started buying paints and Oh, good lord. So, needless to say, my bank balance has took a bit of a hit since I found fee. <laughs> Don't regret it though. Don't regret it at all. These are another fee moment. Because I started following her flowers. And then I thought, oh, they would look lovely on a wee pin. And I thought, kids are going back to school. 
so I can make them for the kids going to school with clasps and so that's what I've done. They're so easy to make and they're not expensive and parents seem to love them. So yeah. But aye, that was my YouTube kit. See. Anyway, fears my front door. Could everything beyond that scares the life out of me. Uh, but that's a it's not a normal fear that I know it's irrational. Um, my rational fear is snakes. I am absolutely petrified of them. I don't understand how they can move so bloody quickly with no legs. It just freaks me out. And I've had many a nightmare about them. In fact, one night, and this is no joke, maybe about, I'm trying to think, probably about, about five years ago, I woke up one morning sweating buckets. I had a, a dream and it was so vivid. I could tell you the markings on the snake and everything. It was that vivid. And it's not as if I watch anything on telly because as soon as I see anything further, get it turned over and I walk out the room, I can't cope with that. Ugh. But I could see this snake fully in a friend of mine. Her husband's quite into snakes and stuff. So she's like, give me the description and I'll ask Alan. And she came back to me and she's like, you're safe enough. She's like, they're only in Australia. Okay, still pay bloody petrified though, but the maskings that she gave me, she knew, he knew exactly what snake it was. Ah, freaked me out. Last thing that made you cry, um, was on Thursday. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Um, First of all, must have just been an emotional day, but first of all, the door, my door went, postman had my delivery from mail with my gorgeous rack. So I had a wee bubble then, and before I opened it, the phone rang and my mum had phoned to let me know that a family friend had miscarried. Not many people knew she was expecting. Um, she had, had a bit of a worrying pregnancy. All her pregnancies have been quite worrying. She has the older kids. Um, but they've all been quite premature apart from the eldest. The eldest was born on time. The two boys were really, really premature. Um, So they were really, really close to monitoring her. Um, she went for a scan last Thursday and they said the heartbeat was very, very, very faint. But it was there. So she was to go back this week. And when she went to Thursday, there was no heartbeat. And I knew how much harder my husband had wanted to be one. So I, I was pretty gutted. Really gutted, actually. Um, so I had a good bubble and then I opened Mel's parcel downstairs because I was so emotional. I didn't want to film it being so emotional so I opened it downstairs and I had a good bubble down there while I was opening it and then came up and filmed it. So I had Thursday. Um, last time you said you loved someone. I say it all the time. Any time my kids are leaving the house, I tell them. Even if they're only just going to the shop. Um, when the kids go to school in the morning, love you, be good. I just always say it. I make sure I say it all the time. Because there's a true saying, you just never know when it's the last time you're going to be able to say it. And I would much rather say I loved somebody a thousand times so they know than if anything happened to them leaving myself questioning did they know how I felt 
so yeah I make sure they always know it and my oldest absolutely hates it <laughs> but I still don't care meaning behind your YouTube name blame my parents no idea why I got that name <laughs> no it's just the name I was born with so last book you read um Oh, it was the Anne Nolan book. Can't remember the name of it, but it's um the Nolan sisters, the Nolan's Sanskrit eighties group, whatever you want to call them. Um, one of the sisters out of that had wrote a book. It's a good read. Um. So uh, that was my last one. The book you're currently reading, it's actually a reread. Um, and it is. Can't see the name of it. It's um, Addicted to Murder. It's the biography type of thing from Harold Shipman. So, hi, reading that. Um last show you watched what was the last thing I watched? Coronation Street from the other night. Uh Sky Plus everything so when I um have a quiet house or I'm sitting making flowers or whatever I can just sit and um watch whatever I've recorded. So I that was the last thing I watched. Um, 34, last person to talk to, my youngest son, because he was in asking me, woodpeckers live around here. He comes out with some random stuff, my son. Um, the relationship between you and the person you last text, that would be my eldest son. Where are you usually? Because it's normally by his curfew time. Favourite food? <coughs> Pastas, spaghetti carbonara, tagliatelle, uh, spaghetti bolognese, lasagna, cannelloni, nom nom nom, any of that, yum yum. Even if I'm just peckish, I'll just put some pasta in, no I don't really even does, put some pasta in, we dollop a butter, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of black pepper, and I'm happy. Uh, place you want to visit? Anywhere outdoors, really? No, seriously, though. Um, I don't really have any big aspirations, if I'm honest. Uh, Ireland was the one place I wanted to visit because my grandparents lived there. My dad was conceived there and I felt I wanted to go back and visit it. So, but I've been there, done it and I still want to go back and visit because there's more Ireland. I've only just seen one wee corner of it. So yeah, Ireland. Um, thirty. Last place you were. Um, when did I last go? I think Sunday. Okay. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Sunday I went to my dad's. Because I didn't go over on Wednesday. Yep, Sunday. That was the last place I was. Yeah, la, 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 la. Do you have a crush? No. Takes my mind off to do everything else. I certainly haven't had a crush Sunday. <laughs> no. Don't. Not at all. Last time you kissed someone, my son this morning. She even came through this morning and I always came out kissed in the morning. 
Last time you insulted my eldest, because he's vicious sometimes, if he doesn't get his own way with you, God of the handles on. Um, so I, that would have been, in fact that was some strange as well actually. So kind of them. Such an emotional day and I get hurled with abuse. No. Can I be in Celtic? It must be Wednesday because I've been trying to get a whole bit social from Celtic. And I've got it from yesterday. Right, here oh, are the drama. Favourite flavour of sweet? Um, mints. Not really a sweet hand, more savoury. Crisps, biscuits. Mm. <laughs> Um, what instruments do you play? Don't play any now. Can play a wee bit of the keyboard, but that's about it. I can't read music to save my life. So it's just listen by ear and play by ear. Favourite piece of jewellery, my grand's wedding ring, which was sitting beside my desk, beside my bedside table, sorry, and I now have a box for it. Thank you to Mel. Um, so yeah, my grand's wedding ring, which I got after her second husband passed away. Um, her husband didn't really keep in touch with us, and then I heard through the grapevine that he'd passed away and saw it in the paper. Went to the funeral because I felt I had to. We had over the years sent him letters and sent him photos of the kids and because I still felt it, it was only grandpa really I knew. Both my other grandpas had passed before I was born. Um but he wasn't interested and after he passed away I tried to get in touch with his home help to see if there was any photos and things lying about because I didn't want them just to go in the bin because there was obviously photos of us and photos of my mum and my uncle from when they were young obviously still in the house um, and she said yeah there was photographs there and then she said that she had my grand's wedding ring Adam who was my step grandpa had um, worn it round his neck and did want to be cremated with it but they don't allow it over here so she had to take it off and she didn't know what to do with it so when I got in touch she asked me if I would like it back so yeah so that's how I've got that last sport you played probably football with one of the kids a few years back last song you sang I sing all the time if a song comes on, I to sing along with it. Can I sing to save myself? But doesn't stop me trying. Sing constantly. Drives me nuts. Put the radio on and I know 90% of the songs. Word for word. So I'll yelp along with him and he's like, shh. Trying to hear the music. Sorry. But, cheers me up. Um, says it at chat up line. I don't really have one. Have you ever used it? Nope. Last time you hung out with anyone? Sunday when we were all over at my mum's. <laughs> um, everyone was at my mum's. Who should answer these questions next? Mm. How about... Who do we want to answer next? What about Donna, who is UK Dolly? Dolly something. I'm terrible with names. I'll put the link below, but I know who I'm talking about, so Donna. Um, trying to see who's not been blooming tagged. Um, who else have we got? 
Let's just see. That's terrible. Can't even panic. Justin Stone. Justin is a really new. And it's terrible. Can't even think who else. D had already been tagged by Sarah. I think that might be it. No, I'm little as well. Yeah. So that's Donna, UK's always Eve, um, Justin Stone, and Anne Littler. So that's mine. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Love and hugs. Bye.